What's up everybody? Today we're going to be making a couple of picture frames out of two by fours uh, and we're going to be using an interesting painting technique to get a cool finish on them. These frames are going to be used to mount canvas. You could use this method to mount pictures as well. You might have to make a couple of changes. Uh, but basically I want to mount this and for the second one, I'm still not sure what I want to put in it yet, but I do know the finish I want and that's why I want to make it. So the first step is to cut our two by fours down roughly uh, and we want to make a recess so this frame can sit into the back of this, of this frame without this part sticking out and hitting the wall. I wouldn't recommend using the miter saw to make your cuts for the picture frame. Most miter saws are not very accurate. Uh, maybe the high-end ones are, but most of us don't have that. So I made this quick miter jig for the table saw and it is perfect. It's gonna give me perfect corners. Uh, it didn't take too long to make. Uh, and that is probably the easier way and the better way to get good miters. I'm gluing this thing up and I bought this strap at Harbor Freight and it is pretty cool. Uh, it, there are better things out there I'm sure, but this is going to help bring the corners in real tight and that way they'll uh, be able to, to form a good bond and then when it dries uh, we'll reinforce it. Uh, I'm not going to worry too much about the glue. Usually I would clean it up, but because the glue is going to get covered up with paint and it's also going to be sanded pretty well beforehand, uh, it's not going to be an issue later on. I made this second frame off camera and now we're ready to move on to the next part. Now, these frames are glued together, but when you're gluing up end grain against end grain, you're not getting the strongest bond. So to reinforce that bond, there's a couple of ways you can do it. I'm gonna go with what's easiest for me right now. And that is I'm gonna drill some holes and insert some of this dowel in there. And in doing that, it should create a permanent bond where we'll never have any problems in the future. To prepare these frames for the finish that we're going to be applying to it, I'm going to be using my orbital sander and 50 grit sandpaper. I'm just going to clean up the rough spots. I want to round over the edges. You could use a router for this, but I kind of want to have it look a little uneven, like it was done by hand. Um, I think that look is going to look nicer with what we're doing here. The finishing technique that I'm using on these frames is something that I did a video on very recently. And if you click here in the top right hand corner, um, you can check it out after this video. Or if you wait to the end of the video, it'll pop up. And I'm going to go into a little bit of detail here. But again, if you want more detail on it, you can check that one out. But basically, we're going to be applying three layers of paint. Each layer is a different color. The kind of paint that we're going to be using is a latex paint, a flat finish. Uh, and the idea is once we have multiple coats of different colors, we're gonna wait till it dries and then we're gonna use our sander and we're gonna start eating away at some of those layers so some of the colors come through underneath. And I think when you see this process unfold here, you're gonna get a better idea of what I'm talking about. Almost forgot to mention, if your paint doesn't have a primer built into it, you're gonna have to prime your frames first before you start doing the actual painting.
Normally I hate sanding, but I actually am not gonna mind it here because this is the fun part. This is where you start to see everything you did come to life. Uh, with this green frame, I'm gonna be much more aggressive in my sanding. And so on my orbital sander, I'm gonna start off with an 80 grit disc. And then later on, when I get closer to where I wanna be, I'm gonna go with a 120. Now with this cream colored frame, I'm just gonna go with the 120 from the beginning because I don't wanna be very aggressive. I want this to be mostly a cream colored frame. Also, make sure that you wear a good dust mask or do this outside if you can. I can't really do it outside right now, but um, that way you're not breathing this stuff in because that is not good. My recommendation here is to take this slow and step back, take a look from time to time. Uh, this is the creative part. This is the part where, you know, you, you kind of just, you know, become the artist a little bit. I mean, because your frame does become the art when you're doing something like this. I bought this spray tent on Amazon a while back and it's awesome. It lets me spray in my garage with proper ventilation. Uh, if you want to check it out, I'll put the link in my description. It is now time to uh, put a protective coating over our finished frames. So I'm going to be using a water-based polyurethane. I will link a couple different kinds in the description so you can check them out. Um, and once we apply several coats, we'll be done with the frames and we can put everything together and I think it's going to be pretty cool. I made these holders on my 3D printer to keep the canvas mounted into the wooden frame. Check the description below for links to where I got some of the materials that I use for this project. Thank you for watching. I hope you got some ideas from this one. If you have any questions, put them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you want to see what some of those upcoming projects are, check me out on Instagram. I usually put pictures and videos there way before I upload them on YouTube. And if you haven't subscribed, check out my other videos. If you like those, uh, please do subscribe. And for everybody out there, I hope you're all healthy and safe and I will see you in the next one.